Good afternoon and welcome to Blind Builds with Blind Prime. I'm your host, Blind Prime, and today we'll be building more Braille. Yep, we're going to be working on the number six, which in Nemeth code math is actually the letter F. F becomes six. There it is. I had it upside down. F becomes six. And six becomes F. It's uh, pretty cool. You can actually, you know, if you spin it around, you get something completely different. But today we're going to teach you how to build the number six out of Nemeth Code Math. And of course, if you've been watching the series, then you understand what Nemeth Code Math is and how essential it is for Braille and the blind in mathematics. Uh, the old way required a number symbol before putting down your numbers, which if you're trying to do a mathematical theorem or something like that, it can get very complicated. And you have to keep a lot more in your head than you normally would. Removing that one symbol can remove a lot of strain and problems from doing mathematical equations for the blind. Thus, this cool guy named Nemeth created Nemeth Code Math. And this is the number six, and we're going to teach you today how to build the number six. I uh, hope you've enjoyed the series so far, and I hope that you, have con you will continue to enjoy the series on building Braille. Of course, after we're done with the numbers, I'm going to talk about the blackboard, which is something that I use to build Braille with. Or actually, just double check my work. I have my blackboard right here, and this is the blackboard. This is an entire, you know, what would you call such a thing? Uh, oh, tablet, no, um, it starts with an S, but for some reason I'm just drawing a blank. Maybe not enough coffee. Um, Scarab, no, not scarab, not scalpel, um, ah, it, it will pop up into my head. Anyway, let's get into what we're doing today. We are building the number six. So to build the number six, you're going to need one three by two plate. You're also going to need one one by one tile. You're going to need one one by two tile. You're going to need one one by two plate. And finally, you're going to need one one by one stud that is squared. There it is. So that's going to be a maximum of one, two, three, four, five. Five pieces. Kind of funny. For the number five, we had to use six pieces, counting the bottom piece here, the plate that everything's built upon. And for the number six, we have to use five pieces for the bottom plate, which I think is funny. So to begin off, you want to go ahead and put your one by two plate in the two and the five positions directly across the center right Let me double check make sure everything yeah okay cool now what you're going to do is you're going to put your one by two tile on the one and the four positions the top then you're going to get your one by one plate and you're going to put that in the three position at the very bottom and finally, you're going to get your one by one tile and you're going to put it in the six position. And you're going to have a number six. I know it doesn't really look like a number six, does it? You would think it's like it's like somebody chopped off the top of the number six and just left that without the little circle at the bottom. So now that we have a number six built, we have two sixes there and that's the F. All right. Now let's build the number six on the ground. You know, on the tabletop in front of you, put down your three by two plate, take in your pieces, a one single one by one tile, a one by two tile, a one by one stud, and a, and a, hmm, we're missing a piece. Where is that one by two plate? My cat Sugar was up here requesting loves, and uh, I did hear a bunch of pieces moving around. I think she may have stolen it. So in that case, just get into handy dandy Lego container here. And there it is. Ooh, that simple. One by twos are actually, I have so many one by two plates. We kind of overbought those whenever we bought all the pieces for Braille. So now we have a one by two plate. Let's get started. Okay, slide all the pieces over there. So there. By the way, put this guy in the center of the quadrant. And uh, that reminds me, I'm very happy that on my panel, which you can watch in my live stream, 
I actually had the question asked, why do you use a Wii Fit board in your videos? So if you want to know the answer to that question, I answered it on my live stream video in the live section of my channel, Blind Prime Goes Live. Now, let's get to this. So take your 1x2 plate and stick it in the center, in the 2 and the 4, 2 and the 5 positions. I almost, almost tripped myself up there. Then take your 1x2 tile and put it in the 1 and the 4 positions at the very top. Now remember, 1 is at the top left, 4 is at the top right, 3 is at the bottom left, and 6 is at the bottom right. Always important to remember how Braille is organized. So finally, we're going to take our 1x1 stud and we're going to put it in the 3 position. And then we're going to take our 1x1 tile and we're going to put it in the 6 position. And interestingly enough, this is the only 6 that you can't flip around to become a 9. I think that's kind of fun. But you can combine them all together, all three sixes together, and you can make something that makes conspiracy theories happen. Ooh, six, six, six. Ooh, scary numbers. Super scary numbers there. Ah, okay, I'm done. They're just numbers. I hope that you have enjoyed today's episode. I hope that uh, you have learned something today. That's the intent on making these videos to teach you at home, an individual who's never come across a Braille tutor in your entire life, how to make Braille. Because honestly, there's not enough people teaching this thing on the internet, and it, it is kind of sad. So I hope that you're enjoying a tutorial series that is unique and interesting and definitely on the uh, category of things that not many people are doing. So go out there, get yourself some Braille, go to, um, yeah, go to the Brick Bank. The Brick Bank is the best place in the world to buy the Braille chips from. I know Lego bought the Brick Bank, which is kind of upsetting. I, I consider that a clash of interests right there. But nonetheless, Brick Bank is an amazing place where you can go to get your Lego pieces. And if you want to get the necessary pieces to build your own Braille, that's where I went to get all the pieces I needed to get. And it didn't actually cost that much because I tried my best to find pieces that are cheap. It going down to, I believe, using the orange 3x2s because they're the cheapest 3x2s out there. So that's, you know, I made sure the white and the black are very cheap bricks. Everything about these Braille chips, I have tried my best to design to be as cheap as possible for Lego. And I know Lego isn't very cheap, but I've done my best to give you the, uh, the cheapest route possible to building your own Braille. After all, I'm always building on a budget. And I know some of you at home are also building on budgets. So that's all I needed to say on that. I hope you have a wonderful day. Please tune in next Prime, where we will be doing some more things. Tomorrow, I'm going to try my best to get a Transformation Challenge Cosmos video out there. And also, I need to work on Transformation Challenge Studio Series 86 Ultra Magnus. And oh, man, I, I would have done it. But that, that, that con crud, it, it gets you. It gets you. And all right, well, have a great day, and until next Pride, bye-bye for now.